welcome back to my channel. Today I'm taking you with me on my Sunday. I'm doing my Sunday weekly reset. So I like to clean the apartment, deep clean it. I like to grocery shop, meal prep, do a little self-care moment, and I like to plan for the week. So I thought I would take you along this time as I do a lot of the time because it's fun and Sunday reset vlogs are literally the best thing ever to watch on YouTube. So I also wanted to thank Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. Squarespace is the platform that I use to create my website, SiennaMirabella.com, but I will talk more about that later on in the video. I'm making my meal plan for the week on my computer, so I have a little note in my notes app, and I'll write like breakfast, lunch, dinner options, snack options, and then I'll write the grocery list specific to each store. I don't plan a specific meal for each day of the week unless I'm feeling frisky and fresh and really like dedicated that I will. But most of the time I'll just write like three to five options for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and I can just pick what I'm vibing with in the moment. This is so loud. I'm gonna finish up making my grocery list, and then I'm gonna head out to Trader Joe's and Whole Foods, and then we'll catch up with you after. I didn't need to restock on much, except for produce and stuff of that nature. First thing I got from Whole Foods was Dave's Killer Bread. This is the epic everything bagel. I like to make a little bagel sandwich. I haven't had one in a minute. And then to go with that, I got the Kite Hill cream cheese. This is an almond milk cream cheese and it is chive. Love this stuff. It's so bomb. And then of course I got another protein shake. I really like these. I'm very down for this Owen brand. This is the plant protein, 35 grams of protein, zero grams of sugar, vanilla. And then I got some almond milk pudding. I just, you know, I don't know. This stuff hits in the middle of the night when you're craving a little sweet snack. And then I've been craving applesauce. I don't know. So I got organic cinnamon applesauce. And then I was also craving ice cream. So I thought, yeah, chocolate chip cookie dough, almond milk, ice cream. And then I just restocked on my Oatly full fat oat milk. And then I got some spicy shrimp avocado rolls. I get some type of sushi every Whole Foods trip. I don't know. It's a vibe. It's a reward for being alive, you know? Then I got some tomatoes. I like to put these on the bagel with like the cream cheese and then some avocado and lemon pepper. Um, and then I got my strawberries from Whole Foods again. And honestly, it was only $4 for organic strawberries when I was thinking I was getting such a deal at Trader Joe's. Not hard vibes. I'm sticking to Whole Foods because a lot of you guys confirmed my suspicions about Trader Joe's produce because you said that well, there was a recall on the strawberries last time and they had like hepatitis C or something. So no, I will be sticking to Whole Foods produce from now on. Then I got two white peaches, two lemons, two avocados, two sweet potatoes. Then I got my Siggy's plant-based coconut blend of vanilla and cinnamon yogurt and the last thing i got from whole foods was my simple mills rosemary and sea salt almond flour crackers i like to have this with tuna if you watch my what i eat in a week you know that if you haven't seen my what i eat in a week i will put it wherever you can put videos and you should definitely watch that because i loved making that lastly we have trader hoes first thing that i got from trader joe's was this vegan super spinach salad with quinoa carrots cranberries chickpeas edamame pumpkin seeds, and a carrot ginger miso sauce. I got more snacks. I got dry roasted and salted almonds and soft and juicy mango. I know that this has extra sugar in it because if you get the just mango, it's just mango, but these taste so good. And it's my like little dessert moment. So soft and juicy mango. I am a hoe for Trader Joe's protein bars. They're so good. So I got this Barbell's plant-based protein salty peanut protein bar. And then I got Barbell's Protein Bar Cookies and Cream, no added sugar. And then I got the Think Keto Protein Bar Chocolate Peanut Butter Pie. These are just like the go-to. They're so good when I need a little extra protein, I just want a snack. And then of course, I got my little instant miso ramen. And then lastly, I got bananas. And that is my little grocery haul. I'm gonna put all of this away. Then I'm going to start the cleaning segment of my weekly reset.
wanted to take a second to talk about today's sponsor, which is Squarespace. Squarespace is the platform that I use to create my website, SiennaMirabella.com. Everything was so easy. It's all customizable and drag and drop. So really anyone can make a website. If you want to make a website for your brand, Squarespace is the move. It's so easy to use and you can integrate so many things within it. So you can have a blog, a shop, your Instagram, all of that stuff within one website. Let me take you into my website to show you what I'm talking about. Right now we're inside the dashboard for Sienna Mirabella com which is the website that I'm rebranding it is my main website and I'm just showing you how easy it is to add sections and customize your website what makes Squarespace so easy to use is that you can choose from all of these templates so if you don't really know where to start but you want to make a contact page a newsletter you want to list products for your store they have all of these templates that you can choose from and then you can build upon them and customize them to your liking it's very easy it's great for beginners or people that just want to make their lives a little bit easier I think Squarespace is the best. Another great feature of Squarespace is you can add a blog. You can add an e-commerce site. There's so many different variations that you could put on your website. It's easy to create a one-stop shop website where you can create a blog, a store, and you can really showcase all sides to your business through one website. If you guys want to build a brand and a website, I highly recommend checking out Squarespace. You can go to squarespace.com for a free trial and then go to squarespace.com slash Sienna Mirabella when you're ready to launch so you can get 10% off your first purchase of a domain or website. I have my laundry going still, but I'm gonna do some planning for the week. I have a checklist on my notes app. I use Notion for my entire life in terms of organizing. Then for like daily things or things that I just need quick access to, I use my notes app. So I have my Sunday reset checklist in my notes app and I have food for the week. So we did the grocery shopping, we created the grocery list and menu and then my cleaning checklist. And so we've done all of the cleaning, but most of the time I do everything on this list. Some things I won't do and I'll just do it every other week, that kind of vibe. And then the next part, the part that we're on in my weekly reset is the get clear and get current. This is from David Allen's getting things done book, but I just kind of put it to whatever. So the things that I do are clean my desktop and downloads folder on my computer. I clear and sort my notes app. I have this note pinned on my notes app where it's just called thoughts. If I have an idea or just anything that comes to my mind and I want to quick capture it and not forget it and I'll sort it later, it goes in that thoughts note and then I go through that and sort. So if it's like something I need to buy or it's an idea or it's a project, whatever it is, I'll sort it where it needs to go, but I'll go through that thoughts note once a week and then also i brain dump all of the to do's that i have to do for the week so then i'll make my weekly to-do list so i'll put together all of the to do's that i have to do for the week and then i will go in from there and specify which day i'm going to do said things i do that in the notes app too but i wanted to do it on paper this week because i'm just feeling a very pen and paper vibe so these are my little checklists from katie bilotti she sent me them they're so cute i don't know if she still sells them if she does i'll link them below but they're just little notepads for the daily and the weekly so this one is like your weekly priorities and this one is broken down more for your daily priorities i just think it's cute and i kind of feel like doing it this week and i also wanted to try out using my planner again because i like having everything digital on my phone it's a lot easier but i don't know i'm feeling like i want to write things down this week so that's why it's easy to have a planning system so simple because I can go back and forth and do whatever I want. I don't have to archive anything. So like I can write in my planner one week, I can do it on my phone another, it's fine. My whole life is organized in Notion, but this kind of stuff, like the day to day, I keep it surface level on either the notes app or on pen and paper. Then after I do the to-do list and stuff like that, then I'm gonna update and review my content calendar. So in Notion, that's where I have my brand dashboard and I will go through and update like what are the videos I'm doing for this month, write out the titles, flesh out the ideas if I need to, and just kind of have a general plan for what videos I'm filming this week and what the vibe is gonna be for the rest of the month. So I like to check that and update it every week. And then I will time block in my Google Calendar. So then once I have all of my to-dos, I will then go in my calendar and things that are like set scheduled time things, then I'll put those in the calendar and then I will time block specific hours for me to do certain things. So I'll time block in order to like task batch. So let's say I have to shoot reels that week. I'll be like, okay, I'm gonna dedicate three hours in this block of time on my Google Calendar for shooting reels. So it's that kind of vibe. I love to do that. I think I did a Google Calendar video. I'm pretty sure I did a Google Calendar video. If not, 
I will do a Google Calendar video and a Notion video um, a little bit later, probably in like the school year time because I just feel like that's right. And then the last part of the get clear and get current is kind of giving a general outline of what I wanna do on my Instagram stories that week. So basically I'll have some inspiration for Instagram stories and I'll be like, okay, Monday I wanna do stories about my weekly reset. I'll kind of plan like what the vibe is for each day on my Instagram stories. Like, okay, I want to focus on like what I ate today on my Instagram stories. And this, these stories I want to focus on my like morning routine. And this, this day I want to do fashion focus, you know, like just kind of giving me an idea because stories are hard for me to come up with on the spot. And it's important to be on Instagram stories daily. So I kind of give myself a little bit of a theme to what I want to do where like a little bit of inspo and then usually I'll either change it up on the spot, but it's kind of just giving me a basic guideline of like, okay, let's start out with this. And then I kind of get in the groove and then I upload more stories. So it's kind of just getting me to think about stories and do them more. So that's the get clear and get current. I'm going to do that for a little bit. Jazz on in the background. I love setting an ambiance. So I'll put on like lo-fi beats or jazz and then we'll do the self-care part of the weekly reset. <laughs> I just did my little exfoliating shower. I did a hair mask and then I put on a fresh coat of self tanner. I would have done that last night. That's supposed to happen last night, but Sybil, my cat, peed on my mattress. I was washing the mattress protector, the sheets, the whole thing. She peed on the mattress straight up. So I couldn't get my bed made until like later in the night because I had to clean that and then it took forever to dry. So I didn't even film me putting my bed back together and I didn't have time to do my little self-care routine. But normally I would do the self-care routine before I go to bed and then I would marinate in my self-tanner and then rinse it off in the morning. But that was not an option because you know what? Life just happens, okay? Whatever, but I'm marinating in my self-tanner and I'm gonna rinse it off before I go to bed tonight. Basically, that's what I do for my weekly reset. That's kind of how I plan, how I clean, how I get ready, the self-care that I do before starting the week. So I do it on a Sunday. If you guys want me to continue doing Sunday vlogs. I love making them. They're so fun. I love vlogging Sundays because we love a weekly reset and we love being productive. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.